Hello, this is from Milwaukee to Nashville. I'm Daniel Goodwood. This is Christian Draves, and this show is brought to you by um, Hockey Locker. Hockey Locker. We're still working out the bugs, people. Uh, 2002 West, uh, West Howard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, right across the street from Wilson Park. Grab any of your hockey needs that go th from pucks and skates to jerseys and sticks. Yeah, you can get a jersey from each of the NHL teams in the Midwest as well as uh, local college hockey teams, correct? Like no. the Badgers? No. You no. get your Badger stuff at, uh, what is that? Name of the game. Well, well, you're not supposed to plug somebody that's not sponsoring us. Unless that's you kind of hinting. I'm hinting. Because <laughs> we have been in that particular store. Just like we both <laughs> attended uh, stuff at Hockey Bar. Speaking of Badgers, congrats to the Badgers beat knocking off Michigan today. Way to go, Bucky. Yeah, he's talking about football, obviously. Um, so, have you given much thought into uh, if we're ever going to make it to Madison for a hockey Badger game? Uh, most likely this season. Because I've never been to a Badger hockey game before, and I'll be kind of nice to go to. All right, so let's see what we had. Holy crud, I saw something that's funny. Wow, uh, you sounded kind of like Oprah. Anyway, um, scoring in the first period, we had a power play goal from Phil Forsberg with an assist from Roman Yossi and Ryan Johansson. Yeah, we couldn't watch this game because it wasn't available in the Milwaukee market. Please do something about that, Predator. So it would be kind of nice to see more of your games on our TV market. It really would. Um, sorry for the, you folks. I do not have the stats tonight. Um, NHL's website is yeah. being a pain. Um, and then Tampa Bay scored with Cameron Gantz with assist from Matthew Joseph. And uh, Carter Vernhagen scored with an assist from Antonio Sorelli. And then Illy Tolvin had scored with literally, there was like a second left on the power play. Yeah. And the guy came out of the box, puck went in the so literally there was like a split second so it wasn't power so right now is uh the scoring for the first and second periods we're on to the third yep if you want to take the third you can uh then yeah i'll let you do it you got better eyes than i do Oh, that would work. Uh, then Better. Eric, <laughs> then Eric Cermak had a goal with an assist from Cameron Gunnar. Gunnar. And then, and also uh, Mitchell Stevens. And then there was a power play goal. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Am I seeing this right? Two power play goals for the Predators tonight? Yes. Yeah, Victor Arvidsson gets the power play goal with an assist from Matt Duchesne and Ryan Johansson. And then Carter, and then for Tampa Bay, uh, Carter... What is his name? Vernhagen. Vernhagen got a goal, his second of the game, with an assist from uh, Callen, Colin Foote? Yep. Or, Callen Foote. Yeah, Callen Foote with an assist. And then Matt Duchesne gets a goal with an assist from Victor Arvidsson and Robin Yossi. With uh, four seconds left to send him to overtime, where Rem Pitlick gets his second of the uh, preseason. With uh, a minute and 39 in. Yeah, giving the Predators a 5-4 victory. In that was uh, Pekka Rene, correct, or was it Soros? It was Pekka. Give me a second. I will get onto that in a second. Yeah, we don't have the usual uh, stats, because like I said, like he said. In that was usual. Pekka. He stopped four, 17 of 21. He played the whole game. Yeah, he gave up four goals, but he still gets the victory. Hey, even he's going to have an off night. And that's funny, his off night was actually a victory, so that's a good sign. All right, so penalties for the game. Nice. You had two penalties on Tampa Bay. One In was interference. One was interference. One was roughing. Uh, Luke uh, Witowski had an interference. And Pat Marone had roughing. Austin Watson got two minutes for charging. In the second period. Yep. In the second period, we had Austin Watson two minutes for charging. Alexander, Alexander Volkov, who played yesterday, had two minutes for tripping. Eric Cernak had two minutes for holding. Austin Watson had two minutes for hooking. Pat Maroon and Austin Watson both had five minutes for fighting. Five for fighting, right? Eh? And then in the third period, geez, there's a lot of penalties in this game. All right, and this. And then Luke Shen and uh, 
Derek. Denik Martell. They each had five for fighting. And Denik Martell also got a game misconduct. Lucas Craig got five minutes for fighting. And Yakov Trenin got five, five minutes for fighting. fighting. And, and again, Yakov Trenin got a game misconduct as well, probably because he was one of the guys that instigated the fight. And or then, he was the secondary fight, which means automatic game misconduct. Yeah, and then Dominic uh, Masson. Yeah, two minutes for holding. In the overtime, no penalties. I was going to say, I hope there's no penalties in overtime. It's three on three. How are you really going to have that many penalties in a three on three situation? And net for the Lightning was Scott Wedgwood. He stopped 40 or 39 of 44. Yeah. So the Predators outshot them 44 to 21. Yeah, like I said, I wish we could have watched this game, but hey, we're not in Nashville, so we don't get the privilege. But hey, it'll happen eventually. And NHL I finally, finally got their crap together. Now we can read the rest of the team stats that we typically start off with. Nope. They're still they're still saying the game's still going. I thought it said it was done. Nope. Scroll to the top. Overtime. Ah. Oh. It keeps telling me it's still in overtime. It's preseason for NHL.com. I'll just chalk it up to that. But anyways, uh, do you think? Yeah, outside of that, uh, stay tuned to us. Uh, we will be up. I will be doing a video of the, uh, a video shortly. We'll both be doing it. Yes, we will both be doing a video shortly of everyone who is currently on the tra left on the training camp roster of where they may end up, whether they'll be in Milwaukee or whether they'll make the cut. Um, and this is just the initial cut, not the cut that comes, I think, after Friday's this, game. Yeah, not to mention this is solely just our predictions. Yeah, this is our prediction, no facts here. Yeah. So this has been From Milwaukee to Nashville. Brought to you by... Hockey Locker. Hockey Locker, 2002 West Howard Avenue. Milwaukee, Wisconsin. You can also check them out at HockeyLocker.com. You can get your brand new skates. You can get what used skates. Uh, you can get your skates sharpened. You can get sticks, gloves, helmets, basically all your gear. You can pick up NHL jerseys from all the teams in the Midwest. Last time I was in Hockey Locker, I was able to get an NHL jersey from a team not in the Midwest. Just yep. saying, Jose Sharp. Yeah, I believe they also have Red Wings, Stars, and... Well, the Red Wings are technically the Midwest, so... They have the Stars jerseys, but I think they only have... Those jerseys were from, like, the original Stars jerseys, so oh, I think so that was... Oh, so maybe Minnesota North Stars? No, it was right when they moved. Oh, okay. They, they were so pretty the cool, old. So the cool-looking ones, not these plain ones they currently got? Yeah, and that's... They have all of that? Yeah, so basically, like, throwback jerseys you could probably get, which are pretty cool, because, you know, throwback hockey jerseys are nice. Either way, they have excellent customer service, and uh, thank you for your support, Hockey Locker. Have a nice day.